The Master Liquid ML360R RGB is a new all-in-one by Cooler Master that sports a 360mm radiator, addressable RGB fans, and a low-profile dual-chamber pump. The nicely sleeved FEP tubing has a premium feel, and you can use the included RGB control unit to customize the addressable LEDs on the fans and pump, or plug directly into your motherboard. For more on the Master Liquid ML360R RGB, click the sponsor link in the video's description. What's up guys, it is the day after Christmas, also sometimes known as Boxing Day in Canada and the UK, I believe. But leading up to Christmas, we all have a lot on our to-do list and sometimes it gets so busy that some things can fall through the cracks. To that end, Joe, my editor, asked me a few weeks back if I might have something that might work as a computing solution for his mom. She's using a very old computer, very out of date, and she just needs something that will work for internet browsing and maybe watching a YouTube video here and there. Also, Joe bought me a Christmas present. So today we're gonna to talk about one, a low cost, low impact solution for his mom to use as a internet browsing computer. And then I'm also gonna open Joe's present that he brought for me here. Look at that, it's beautiful. As you can see, this gift is to me from Joe. There's maybe something for my wife in here too. Hot topic. Oh, cool gift shop. <laughs> Are back. Hey, it is an Overwatch bottle with a note inside. Well, the note is in case I wasn't here, but since I'm here, I can explain to you why I got it. Okay. The Overwatch bottle is because you like Overwatch and also because you have a bad habit of spilling water on your keyboard. So. <laughs> That's awesome. We got Tracer right there in the front. We have a very a lovely note from Joe. Uh, water bottle because I keep spilling stuff on my keyboard recently. Uh, so that's, that's gonna be great. Next up, oh, look at this. Ooh, you, gingerbread pecan brittle. That is delicious. Uh, my wife loves brittle in all varieties. This is from Heather's Confections, and you can tell by the clacky noise it makes. It's very high quality brittle. Also, this is a consumable gift, and if you're trying to think of a gift for someone, something consumable that they will eat, consume, and then uh, be, be, be done with. This is you very nice thing to have. Oh yeah, filled Overwatch bottle with peanut brittle dissolver, almond brittle, gingerbread pe pecan brittle. Sorry. And then of course we have an infinity. Is this Infinity War? Oh, look at that. Thanos did nothing wrong, obviously, because he's on the top, and that's where the heroes of any story go. We got Thanos, uh, all of the Avengers in there, most of whom are dead now. Spoiler alert. And uh, this is awesome, Joe. Thank you. There's a reason for the shirt. It's in the note. Oh, the, and the reason, and this all has a, it's not like Joe just went and bought stuff willy-nilly. So Joe says, hey, Duder, I hope you like the gifts. Water bottles to help you avoid any more accidents with your clumsy ass spilling water over your keyboards. And I got the feeling if you were able to, you'd vanish half the planet by snapping your fingers. So I got you the Thanos shirt. Uh, share the candy with Diana. I definitely will. <laughs> and, and this shirt, yeah, I mean, if I had the glove, just... Thank you very much, Joe. I'm gonna be wearing that in a future video. And now, uh, let's move on to setting up this Nook for Joe's mom. So if you guys aren't familiar with the Nook, the next unit of computing, this actually launched back at the beginning of 2013. So it's uh, about five years old now, but again, we're talking about an internet browsing and maybe video watching machine. So you don't need a whole lot of power for that. And this was originally sold as a bare bones unit. It's got an Intel Core i3 in it, specifically the i33717U, which runs at 1.8 gigahertz. It's a dual core CPU with hyper threading. So you get four threads and it's only got a 17 watt TDP. So this is gonna draw a very low amount of power. Also, the Nook boxes had this funny thing where when you open them, it tried to make the Intel chime. This one appears to be broken though. Honestly, that's just a fa feature of the packaging, so not a huge deal. Oh, and fortunately, I have also included a power cable for this because uh, when you originally bought it, it came with the power brick to supply power, but not the actual plug for this side. Other than that, you get an uh, instruction manual, you get the Nook itself, and then they include a vase mount because these are so small that you could mount it to the back of a monitor and then you'd have like a monitor and PC all in one. So it's a nice little accessory to have. Now, these are sold as bare bones units. They're, they're available in a very wide variety, by the way, guys, and they do have updated versions of these. So if you're looking for a simple, 
low power solution uh, for somebody who just needs, again, basic computer usage, these are still a good choice. Uh, this one, of course, I already have, so we don't need to buy a new one. Let's take it apart though and take a look at the inside. So again, these are available in a wide variety of flavors and this is a bare bones kit, so it wouldn't include that power adapter. It doesn't include a wireless adapter, but it does have antenna, uh, no M SATA or SSD, so you need to add storage and no memory. Uh, I have already kitted this one out, I believe. It's been a little while since I opened it up, but hopefully all that stuff should already be installed here because I, I did that in the past. Yay, I did. Sleeve goes around the outside and here internally, we can see a couple SO DIMM slots. So again, two of those for memory expansion. I've already installed a Patriot memory stick there. How much is this? So we've already got four gigs installed and that should be plenty for our needs. And then for storage right here, we've got a 64 gig uh, SSD. This is MSATA, not M.2. Remember MSATA before M.2 became all the rage? MSATA looks huge now, by the way, but uh, let's look at the other side. And I, I was trying to pull the uh, the motherboard out so we could look at the other side, but there's actually several things that are kind of taped in there. I don't want to mess up any of those connections. And I also realized that the thing I was looking for is right here anyway, and has also already been installed. So uh, again, that is our storage drive, our SSD. And beneath that, we have another slot there, and that is a mini PCI Express connection for a Wi-Fi card. So again, if, if you had bought this, bare bones, you wouldn't have storage, you wouldn't have a Wi-Fi card, but you'd have the connection points here for the antenna and you wouldn't have memory. So pop in those three things by accessing from this side and then you have all of the functional parts you need for a computer. The CPU, which also includes the graphics, is mounted to the opposite side of this PCB um, and it's passively cooled. So just remount these. So beyond the internals there, we've got a USB 2.0 on that side, power and uh, hard drive activity buttons over here. And then finally, we got an HDMI out for video, a couple more USBs. There is an actual mini display port there. Might be lightning compatible. I don't, don't quote me on that. Uh, and then there's a Kensington lock since this is very small. If you are in a uh, environment where you feel it might be stolen, you can lock it down. And then just a bit of ventilation and of course the input for the power. Unfortunately, guys, as it turns out, I, I have done some work with this system. I am not 100% sure when it was, but it's recent enough that the, the Wi-Fi is working, which is good. Uh, we have Windows 10 installed, which is also good. I'm gonna do an update and see how that goes. Here's an interesting update page. Your PC is at risk. I guess if you plug in an old enough version of Windows 10 to the internet, this is what you get. I uh, also wanted to point out though that even though we have a 64 gig SSD installed, uh, Windows 10 is pretty slim. So we still got 46.5 gigs free, which should be plenty. You too, bye. Okay, so I just got off the phone with Microsoft. As a bonus in today's video, I am retesting Kingwin Windows 10 licenses, which I just purchased for a little over $30 and activated on this installation of Windows 10. Just had to call into Microsoft to read them off the activation ID and then they activated it and read it back to me and now we're good to go. So let's move on with some setup. So with Windows activated, it's just a matter of uh, running Windows Update. We could have done Windows Update without activating Windows, but you know, we hate that watermark. And we've proved that Kingwin still works as long as you're willing to call in and do the voice activation, which, you know, just takes a few minutes, no problem. So I wanted to check and just make sure everything is functional with this system for further use, such as YouTube. Uh, look, here's a YouTube video on my channel. There it is, playing back, we can jump forward. Uh, it's, it's awesome, nice clean playback. Wait, let's let's double check it if it's a 1080. Can it handle 1080 on YouTube? Yes. Yes, it can. So yeah, we got 1080 60 playback going just fine. And this is with the Windows update running in the background. So that is cool. Uh, just do a little web browsing here, we'll pull up Amazon. Loads nice and quick, you can do some shopping. And then the one other setup thing we're gonna do here, and this was requested by Joe, and we double checked and looked it up to make sure it works, because I've never actually set this up before. If you go to advanced options with Windows Update, uh, you can go to choose how, up oh no, I'm sorry, defer upgrades is the checkbox we're gonna do right here. This will defer major updates for a month or two, so this system won't get updated with a hasty Windows 10 update that might change some functionality. It'll wait and do the updates only after they've been out for a while and hopefully any bugs have been fixed. And uh, we're gonna leave that on so we have nothing to worry about when it comes to Windows updates in the future. And then the last thing I wanted to point out is that there are modern Nooks available. Uh, there's other small form factor PCs like Zotac makes a bunch as well that are, that are pretty nice. Uh, they all use very similar internal hardware if you're talking about the Intel based stuff. But Intel now, for instance, has uh, Sculptrail Nooks that are actual, actually VR capable that have Vega graphics graphics integrated. These do get a bit more expensive though, and they are still bare bones. So you gotta kind of weigh your options, what benefit you're getting from a really small computer 
uh, and lower power usage as well. Because you compare this and the fact that they're bare bones and you have to add memory and storage to them and you know maybe building just a full size computer for 800 or a thousand bucks would be a better bet. But there are of course still lower end ones available. The compute stick also, although that one I feel like is a little bit more niche usage. But you can get the basic functionality of a computer for as little as you know 100, 200 to 300 dollars. Add the storage or the memory that you feel is most useful for the system and then you know you got a nice small low power computer that you can mount to the back of a monitor or tuck away somewhere. Oh I do want to say that this does actually have an active cooling fan under there although it's pretty quiet so I said it was passive earlier it's it is actively cooled. But guys that's going to wrap it up for this video again I'll put some links to the newer nooks that are available down in the video description. A belated Merry Christmas and of course a Happy New Year to all of you guys out there. I hope you're enjoying the end of 2018 and looking forward to what's coming up in 2019 including CES coverage which is coming at you real soon so hit the subscribe button and hit the like button too if you enjoyed this video. Thank you again so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time.